Hello and welcome to the Gaming Guild. Alex here with some more Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, last time we finished off Ila Morta. Uh, got a 5 star rating, completed all the missions. Just barely got a 5 star rating. Getting the facility rating up was uh, a little bit more difficult than I expected. Uh, yeah, uh, with that all done, we are going to be moving on to Ila Morta East. One of the secret missions for Dr. Wu. Um, before we go, uh, let's use our large amount of money to research as much as we can. Send out a dig team. Um, let's see. Did we finish Ankylo? Oh, still working on Ankylosaurus. Let's uh, send out the dig team for that. And then we have a second dig team. Oh. I'm not telling you to take this next. Let's find. Arachosaurus. Boys, I think that's the only place with Ankylosaurus left. Let's go here just so that we can start. Actually, uh, Dilophosaurus. Uh, you have Dilophosaurus. Yeah, just go there. So I'll have those guys going out. Uh, Research is doing as much as it can. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and head to our other island. And then I'll, there's no special missions. I think I do still get contracts, uh, but, um, all the missions are going to be Dr. Wu's special missions. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get going and probably have some dialogue when we get there. As you can see, this facility has remained hidden from view and for good reason. In time, and as the need arises, I'll let you know why. For now, exploit it as best you can. Uh, okay then. I'm less than thrilled with the way Dr. Malcolm has begun to influence our operations. His type of science is too cautious, too safe, and it is affecting the divisions. You'll be tackling a number of tasks for me, while seemingly cooperating with the divisions. Carry on as usual, but under no circumstances are they to be aware that you are working for me. This is our secret. Clear enough? All right. Um, so yeah, uh, this is uh, Ila Morta East. Did I miss a memo? I had no idea this facility existed. Well, I know about it now, and I assume there's money to be made. <laughs> That's funny, it's a facility, uh, but all it is is just land. You have a power plant and a helicopter pad, basically, and an arrival point. Not really a facility if I have to do all the facility building. Uh, but I don't want to take too much time, I'm already losing money. Uh, I don't have any dinosaurs. And I have to pay for power station. Uh, let's start by throwing in food output and outage protection one. That just gives me 10 more power to play with at the beginning here. Um, I can send out expeditions. So this, these are off grid um, buildings. So I'll get uh, an off grid fossil center, off grid research center, and my off grid expedition center they don't count towards the global number of um buildings that i have um i can just use them for their intended purpose so let's see they really start you bare bones on this one let's get a I'm in creation lab going. I'll keep on doing heavy steel fences. Actually, let's see, 1960. It's like less than half the cost to do light. So I'm just going to do light. And I'm going to have some uh, 
pretty calm herbivores in here. So I'm not too concerned about them uh, breaking out or anything. Go. Enclosures. Huh? This guy out. Let's hatch a couple dinosaurs. I don't want to go with anything too expensive. Uh, I do want something that's going to start making me some money. Um, I have the money right now to uh, incubate some Triceratops. I'm going to do a quick check of the genome. Um, I want to make sure... Uh, I'll go steep pattern. Um, I want to make sure I'm getting, you know, the best I can out of these. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get two of these going. Uh, go ahead and make a fossil center. I can find what that works. And then I'd like to see I'm not gonna build this right this second, but perfect. There's just enough space in here to build a monorail for later. Let's grab substation. Are you right here? So later it will also get uh, the monorail. Be a little bit of terraforming, or just landscaping, I should say. I don't need to adjust too much. A little bit of a weird elevation. See if I can sink that down a little bit. A little bit better. Um, add a little bit of water. Add a couple trees on the back side like this. And put in a feeder. Our existence is the constant evaluation of threats. Hey, the first thing you want me to do is sell dinosaurs? Oh, thanks. Alright, let's get a science contract. Opportunity is knocking. Sure. Answer. Guest shelters. An easy one. Something I'd want to be doing anyways. Just throw that. Like that.
Ooh, it's dark. Kind of cool to get to see the lighting effects around the buildings like this. Uh, I do need to put a gate in here. Let's go over here. Um, however, I don't have a ranger station yet. Hopefully nobody gets sick. Uh, manage these fossils. Got a little bit to sell. I think I have Baryonyxes unlocked now. I Where do I dig you. them up? Which is to say, I, I did have some doubt. But you've come through, so thanks. I might have to actually have a research station here uh, before they finish it. Which is fine. Uh, I need to make one anyways. Let's go ahead and do that. Make you right in there. Beautiful. Uh, my profit is pretty good now. Um, so don't have to worry about that. Guest facilities in here. Best food. And a gift shop. Fast food and gift shop are always a great start because I like... Basically, them in a restroom covers everything that uh, the park needs. Um, granted, the, once the uh, park gets bigger, they're definitely going to need uh, more options. Uh, but this is just a good start. Oh, I have Baryonyxes unlocked. I think you're up to tackling this contract. At least look it over. If you find anything interesting, I want to know about it. All right, there's you the Baryonyxes. Me, I'll find out about it anyway. Let's go to the Isle of White. <laughs> Make the right one. No new researches since coming here. Interesting. Dig team. Smokejack clay pit is another baryonyx location. So I'll work on that as well. Let's... I have this huge lake here. I'm going to get that filled in so I can uh, build on it safely. of my power. So, for the moment, I'm going to deactivate my Hammond Creation Lab, um, and that just gives me uh, 16 power back from this. Uh, it looks like I was only one shy um, altogether, so I'm not too concerned. Um, I don't really need the Hammond Creation Lab right now. Um, I don't really have a mon the money to make a whole bunch of dinosaurs. Probably pop out some Struthiomimuses, but uh, I can wait a little bit longer on that. This contract looks important, unworthy of consideration.
I do want to finish off Ankylosaurus. So let's send one back there. Job. Good morning. Wait a second, this isn't seven days to die. My next big thing, I want to make a medium power station. Uh, will give me quite a bit more power to work with. Let's see if I can fit him in right here. I don't know if I'm going to have any storms here or not. I'll just have to see. If I need to, I have the space right here to make a uh, storm defense tower to just kind of protect all my primary buildings. And you back out. What can I say? You did good. Nice. The Amethyst is a four star, so I just get a lot better uh, genome completion from it. Make another contract. This challenge looks interesting, and I thought of you first. So even though there's no missions, there's still uh, some things, when things to go wrong. Who do I turn to first? You guessed it. Uh, I so consider this contract don't even have this always being ready. yet. I'm not even going to worry about taking care of it. Uh, so, uh, they have some things for me to research. A lot of it's stuff that was added in the uh, expansion. So, success rate 4.0. Um, before, success rate only capped out at 3.0. They added a 4.0 for... Uh, the expansion or DLC, um, hatchery insurance 2.0, uh, thing kind of thing. Uh, but they also have these, uh, solitary adaption, grassland adaption, stress inhibitor, uh, rapid stress response. These all impact, uh, the social stats of the dinosaurs. Uh, just like other genomes I, or uh, genes, I can just kind of splice them in. Uh, when I, you know, go to race or, you know, create the dinosaur. Get another one of these going. It's done. All the power. Yeah, I can turn this back on. Um, so yeah, uh, it just, all of this, uh, the social stat, so every dinosaur has the three different social stats. They have a habitat, a stress, and a social. And so what the social does, it can change the population restrictions, as well as the social restrictions of how many of the same type of triceratopses. Um, Stress uh, affects comfort rating, and then habitat affects uh, grassland, forest, and uh, swampland requirements for the uh, slightly more aquatic, like Baryonyx uh, prefers some aquatic, um, you know, some ponds in his uh, habitat. Um, they work both ways, like some will make it so that they prefer more grassland over forest, or vice versa. There's some uh, for the stress ones that make it so that um, this comfort threshold is a lot lower, uh, which was really good to throw on Velociraptors. Uh, but they also have some that will actually raise the threshold. So like 10%, uh, all of a sudden this is at 50% and it's easier to stress out a Triceratops. 
I don't really see a logical reason for that unless you're specifically trying to uh, have your dinosaurs fight each other or um, cause more problems. Um, and as you've seen so far th with this game, other than like some of the missions, I really don't need dinosaurs to fight. They do a pretty good job on their own. I'm sure at some point um, in some of the later islands, I'll need to have dinosaurs fight each other just to raise their uh, rating. We'll get, get that combat infamy up and the survivors will be worth more points. The losers will be, just be carted off. Um, anyways, uh, I was kind of waiting for some money to come back. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a couple Struthiomimuses just to wander around in here. Good berry. That. Ooh, this could finish it off. I'll just have to see here in a minute. Who's that? It's Biscuit! Actually, I don't think I've checked the genome for a while, so let's take a quick look. Um, that's good. Alright. Two more of those on the way. Go ahead and change this up a bit. Like my total profit is pretty low from this. I raise this up like that and it definitely increases it even without having as many guests. some impressive work and I thought I was the only competent one around here looks like there's another contract that <laughs> might be worth your attention I'll take that um, you can help with this and you should I'll take that too um, my facility rating is actually pretty here. good right now. And a contract is available um, to reward you for doing so. Look it over. People are just a little unhappy that the Triceratopses are further away from the viewing gallery. And so far, there hasn't been any uh, storms. I think we might be safe from that. Um, and Kylosaurus is finished. Let's take a look at their genome. Uh, but yeah, they like a population of 0 to 8. Um, already we have 6 dinosaurs in this uh, one area. I really don't want to add to that right now. Um, they can handle a small area. 
uh, but just not a lot of other dinosaurs. Um, we could still get the genome set up. Let's see. We want defense. Defense. Lifespan is immune response. Looks right. And then an attack gene. I kind of want to go with aggressive instincts. I wish I had 2.0 for it. But it does make my rating go up one more point and uh, is actually a little bit more viable though i don't have to worry about that too much but let's go ahead and go with tooth hardness and that's pretty good for ankylosaurus I uh, already finished off the Isle of Wight. Is there a second Uryonyx? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Let's go... Oh, uh, we can start getting some Comsognathus. Everybody's visible. I'm guessing the only problem is that I don't have a hotel yet. Let's see. Let's bring this around. We can go with a viewing gallery here. And then the hotel will have a viewing radius around to be able to catch some dinosaurs. And let's add some gates. Oops. Bring our road around. And then the substation down here. Should work perfectly. Nice, some back to back platinums. Security requires vigilance and commitment to the task at hand. You've proven yourself at that. That's a job well done. Hey, just heard of a great opportunity we should get behind. I love these uh, keep people from dying to carnivores. Uh, keep our guests really easy safe. to do. Not because they're worth it. Yeah, the of hotel gave are. us that five star <laughs> rating. I just don't want to deal with the paperwork. Let's go ahead. I'm going to turn off this feeder here. We've done this trick a few times before. Now let's open up this gate and bring the dinosaurs over here. Add a little bit of water. And the feeder. 
Okay, like that should be good. Yep, it covers both the hotel and this viewing gallery. And we'll kind of keep the dinosaurs in this area here. On a few more trees. Let's throw in a couple right there. And some more along the back end here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I've got to name these ones. Chicken. And... Here's something that you might find interesting. I did. Hmm? Not so much. Okay, right, um, well, we're just mainly waiting for the dinosaurs to move, but we can get started on raising some more. Let's look at our Ankylos, and I have just enough money for both of them. Let's start getting those guys going. They're looking for food. You guys are socializing. You just ate right before I turned off the... Off the, uh, feeder. You really killed it on that contract! Wow! Keep this up and the sky's the limit! All that. All that. These extractions do cost a little bit of money. And then sending out the dig team again takes some more. Roaming. Hopefully they just keep roaming all the way through. Set, keep going. You're heading there. You're not. I need to angle yourself a bit more. That's looking better. You can do it, V. No, don't go that way. V, what are you doing? There you go. You can go through. Jeez, it's like stabling a horse. Come on, just go through. There you go. Push! Push! Close that gate. Open and release these guys. I'm going to activate this. They have food. I'm going to grab my ranger team. Yes. This here is an Ankylosaurus. Strong, armored, and with a tail it can wield like a massive club. Even in the Cretaceous period, sometimes a blunt object could be more effective than a sharp one. I'm going to eat first. Or drink first. Nice. Looking for water. Alright. A little penalty, but that's fine. Ooh, storm warning. Nice photo. Okay. Let's get a storm defense station built really quick. Uh, 
don't think it's going to protect the You're hotel. Natural at this. But nothing's but bad is really going to happen suspect. if the hotel breaks down. Yep. Good job completing that contract. See, this is what we need more of around here. You see an opportunity and you seize it. Cheers. I guess I should uh, open the shelter. Hammond yeah. Creation Lab is down. Let's go ahead and name our ankylosauruses. Their comfort level got down there a little bit, but not too bad. It wasn't too long of a storm. Let's see. Everything get fixed. Everything looks good. Uh, fossils. Ooh. You want some entertainment? Contracts, contracts, contracts. Who has a new contract? This guy. The part of why it's probably dropped from a five star is I now have this viewing gallery that's a little bit uh, further from everything. Oh, and then, oh, these are at, at capacity. That's why the hotel wasn't happy. That contract is complete. Well, that was easy. That means you've done good. Keep this up, and you'll be a star player. That just um, buys me some time. I was gonna, you know, throw in another couple now, buildings contract, down here. This contract could uh, really help. Oh no, you. I'm not going to be making Dilophosaurus right now. Um, let's see, there's, I guess there are missions. I thought them being locked and grayed out like this was a sign that, uh, I wasn't going to be able to do them. New arrival. Ratings increase and Trudon taming. Interesting. Because at some point they're going to unlock Trudons for me. Another science. I've received an offer that will definitely help the science division. And I want another as well. Ankylosaurus, anyways. I 
Everybody's pretty happy right now. Let's just add a second team. Uh, Ranger team scheduling so I can do a third task. And one reload speed. I can't put any uh, upgrades on these ones either. Them being the off-grid ones, even though they have the squares here. They don't let me put the upgrades in. Right now, things are just kind of humming along. Um, I have a little bit of extra money, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started. There... I just don't have anywhere to connect it to yet. But at least it's made. I can actually take it and go like a longer loop all the way around. And then as the monorail is going, it will see the dinosaurs down below. It just slightly increases my uh, viewing potential um, for my facility rating, uh, dinosaur visibility. It will just kind of help this fluctuate a little bit more, or a little less, uh, kind of try to stay as close to 100% as possible. Taking a quick look at my dinosaur requirements, uh, I'm going to need 10 unique species here and 2200 uh, target rating, or dinosaur rating, for uh, completing this island completely. Uh, yeah, I know the track's incomplete. I don't have anything to connect you to. So also trying to keep in mind the general size. If I have a monorail here, I could put a monorail here, here, and here. And potentially even have it loop back up. And then they're spread out enough that they're kind of covering all of the areas. Let's actually do that. That will uh, make people happy. I knew you could do this. That. These new dinosaurs will be extremely valuable mm -hmm. in our ongoing research, and we have you to thank for it. The science division thanks Beautiful. you. Beautiful. And so do I. And then I will put a clothes shop. Um, clothes shop. And a restaurant. So close. He's just so cute. Uh, I'm going to call this one Maverick. Uh, Maverick is a uh, name of a cat that. Basically, the last cat I had 
uh, when, you know, I moved out from home as a kid, uh, he ended up going over to live with my parents, um, when they moved. And he passed away a couple of years ago, but Maverick means a lot to me, so I'll definitely have Maverick. And if we get a fourth Ankylosaurus, which would put us to our limit for social, uh, we wouldn't want to have more than four of them together. Uh, I do have a name already planned out for that. Let's see, let's finish off these Baryonyxes. I've seen some interesting opportunities come my way since I've been here. Um, like this one. That's actually a really good I timing because I'm close to 75% of the Compsognathus. Let's work on those guys next. Take another mission uh, with the science team. We've got a new offer here that Perfect. you should definitely look over. <laughs> Digging up carnivore fossils. Exactly what I'm doing. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Um, Sognathus is definitely a uh, carnivore. That works. Let's get you up in price. There go. And then my plan for this is, yes, I have an herbivore here, another herbivore here, maybe have the Draco Rexes with the uh, Ankylosauruses, get something else to put in here. Uh, and then I'll have another paddock down here for something else and then have more viewing galleries and just kind of uh, utilize this space more. I do want to get an emergency shelter put in. Let's go like that. Oh, it's really hilly over here. Let's see if I can fix that at all. Uh, flatten. Mm. A little bit better, not much. Let's see if it will let me put a restroom in that space. Welcome back. Looks like the expedition was a success. Ooh, very much so. Let's see. Get some entertainment. I do this contract myself if I could. That's how good. That's it is. a good looking one. Did I oversell it? All right, ACU Center. I'm meaning to get one built anyways. Let's see if I can. See Fit this in somewhere here. I may just do this. If I can make that work. I don't really need good access to the ACU center. I just need like the road to fit in here. Let's go with a substation. Connected right there. Fossils almost done, so the genome should be done. You've closed down that contract and met the objectives. Best outcome possible. ECU centers done. Everywhere I look, I see new buildings. Looks like you were on top of it. Awesome. 
Uh, they're all pretty close. Yeah, probably do a little bit more entertainment next. All right. Well, I have a larger variety of dinosaurs than I need. Uh, so let's go ahead and introduce a new one, or at least one that I already um, have 100%ed. The Edmontosaurus is 29%. Uh, or sorry, 29 rating. Uh, Hyungosaurus is 53 rating. A little bit, or a lot better than the Edmontosaurus. Um, Population-wise, they can handle uh, quite a few. Um, socially, they're pretty good. Uh, let's just double check all of the... The immuno response is good. Immuno response is good. Skin tough. In toughness too. I'm gonna go with intense intensive repair. It's the same rating. Because instead of 10%, it's only 8%. Uh, but I think it's gonna be fine because it doesn't actually drop the rating. Um, but it raises the resilience a little bit more, almost 10% more. I don't really need the defense of 30, uh, but this will just protect it a little bit more from disease. And even just that little bit more is helpful if I can just go this whole time without them ever getting a disease. Let's get two of those going. What I'm actually going to do is use the ACU center to uh, tranquilize them, and then I'll move them over to this paddock here, where they'll be a little bit... Uh, be with other... Dinosaurs that can handle a little bit larger of a population. This isn't a giant paddock, so I don't want to overcrowd it too much. Um, the other island that I had unlocked um, after Ila Morta, uh, as far as like the main story goes, has some really big open areas um, that really uh, let me play around with the... Um, oversized dinosaurs, so you have like uh, Oloro Titan, uh, Brachiosaurus, um, you know, the, the long necks of the dinosaurs. Uh, and you know, they, they like these huge giant areas, and then you throw in a dozen Struthiomimuses and Gallimimuses, and it's just kind of a cool area where you can just have a lot of dinosaurs running around all at once. Fossils. Okay, that one's completed. Let's go there. And... Baryonyx is done. Let's finish off the Proceratosaurus. I probably won't make any, especially on this island. But it doesn't hurt to have the genome finished. At some point, I'm going to get Trudones unlocked and have to work on that, but they might only get unlocked once I actually start the security mission. Now, this contract is perfect for improving the security division. <laughs> I'd be disappointed funny. if you reject it. Uh, no, I'm not going to take that mission. Ridiculous. This opportunity is too good to miss. No. So, don't. Now, it's not going to piss off anybody that the Hyongosauruses came in here. Um, so, I'm just going to give them a second. Eat and drink. Uh, once those are full, um, you know, they'll be content. Uh, last a lot longer uh, for the tranquilizer. Because while they're tranquilized, they can still lose their food and water. Um, and then get to a point where they're starting to get sick uh, from it. Let's increase to three workers each. Restrooms are fine. This is good down here, though. I'll increase this.
Why are you socializing? You should be eating and drinking. Who are you even socializing with? He was just eating and drinking. But eating, he hasn't drank anything yet. Now that I have a good supply of money coming in, uh, and nothing really costing me a bunch, let's get a couple more Triceratopses in. for water. I don't get to do this too often. Usually most of my trinking is uh, high intensity situations. They usually don't start freaking out unless uh, you Start shooting. So just take a second, let it drink. Drain its water. You're hit. Grab you, bring you over. Grab you and bring you over. Took a little bit of a hit to a popular her uh, guest total there. That's uh, not too bad. Go ahead and release you guys. We'll see if this one star will finish it off. I might have to use this one. Um, but we'll keep going there. Um, wait, why can I never remember these? Um, I don't even remember. I don't think... That's a Greek symbol, but eh. nobody cares too much. I'll go ahead and let the helicopter do its own thing with that. Get two more Hyungosauruses. I'll add them to this area here as well. Um, and then I think at that point I'll have 12 dinosaurs in here, I'll call that good. 4 Struthies, 4 Triceratops, and 4 Hyungosauruses. Um, I'll get a 4th Ankylosaurus for them, and then probably uh, add some Dracorexes. 
to finish off this area here. We're done. You over. And Mega. Picking up asset. If you can complete this contract, I can see good things in your future. If you fail, I see me in your future. You're gonna add a second feeder up. Too close to a dinosaur. There. Just to prevent overcrowding of this one and keep you know, fresh greens available for them. You guys are all doing good. more forest. That's easy enough to do. Let's add a little bit here. Does that make you happier? Yeah, that's happy. Um, name Fairy. Ron. Hermione and Neville. Hermione. Request acknowledged. Get Draco Rexus. Another mission. Here's a new contract. I thought of you first. Monkeys are done. Another task. Bacon. No And let's get the other one and refill that feeder. Asset to be collected. Neville. Acknowledging asset collection request. Struffy is going to be a little tricky to hit. Unless he just walks right into me. I think I only need him that once. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and refill that and exit out. Uh, expedition. Let's see. Do I have any large? Dinosaurs that I can send a team out for. They want a giant herbivore. But none of these are giant herbivores. I don't have any of their... None of them are unlocked. Unless there's something I'm missing. The Guanodons aren't big. Okay, I guess uh, I'll have to just get rid of this one. I don't know if your schedule's free, but this contract looks too large to be herbivore true. fossils. Okay, that might be hyperbole, but still, no harm in checking it out. Well, 
Let's use our database really quick. Let's see. Um, it says what size they are. The, the Diplodocus I only had in the last one because of the mission where it was sent to me. Um... I just don't, I don't know if I actually have any. Well, I'll do the Stracosaurus and the uh, Nasutoceratops. I believe they're both uh, a bit on the smaller side. All that. I think it's about time to get another power station in here. Let's run. Right there. Uh, we'll release you guys. Make sure everybody's happy really quick. You guys all look happy. You guys are all happy. You are all happy. Draco's going to be a little lonely at first. Search. This should be up to 40%, but it costs 8 million to start researching it. I could run now over to the other. Something special, and I know just no, I don't want to the dinosaur. Uh, I could go over to the other island and start it with, you know, more money over there, uh, but it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, these guys are kind of on the smaller side. I just don't think I have any... Icorithosaurus. And it might be large. You can try that. Try an Iguanodon. I just don't think they're large herbivores. Take another one. If you can handle all the chaos of the facilities and the dinosaurs, then <laughs> me really, how tough missions. could completing this new contract be? For a person of your guys. Kylosaurus, and that will finish off this attic. 
Draco Rexes could handle a little bit more, but uh, man, Kylosaurus are going to be at their limit with one more dinosaur. And actually, at that point, I could probably even just get rid of this Ammon Creation Lab and build one in another spot. Um, utilize this space for something else. Get some improved outputs here. Iguanodons definitely don't count. And the Corythosaurus doesn't count. I just don't think there's any large herbivores. Um, I really don't know what they consider large versus giant. Um, like obviously the T-Rex is a large carnivore. Uh, but herbivores usually aren't considered large. I think even the Triceratops is considered a medium. Uh, we could still get Orithosaurus from this. I will send one of my teams out there. Um... Sure, Sinoceratops. Just get a little bit of everything on the plate. I want to put this down to six. Uh, just with eight dinosaurs in here, I don't want it to run out. Yeah, everybody should be content still. Got some sleeping Draco Rexes. Everybody else seems pretty content. <laughs> Ron is the Alpha Youngosaurus, and Beta is still the Alpha Triceratops. Strathiomimuses don't really have Alphas. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell this. extra ankylosaurus fossil uh but yeah ankylosaurus didn't count as large revor fossil either i'm just gonna go ahead and terminate that contract
Always a pleasure to work with you. Yeah. Even a full plate has room for a little more, don't you think? So why not give this new contract a once over then? Okay. If I had my way, every single person on the planet would have the opportunity to interact with our dinosaurs one on one. Well, maybe just the friendly ones. here so we're gonna gate in here and then gate right here and fences here and Doesn't look too good. Throw a substation right in here. And then build an enclosure or a human creation lab. I wasn't sure about this one, but you delivered. Oh, storm coming in. Open up these shelters really quick. I still don't know for sure if it's necessary to have shelters open uh, during a storm. Let's get him going.
Everything's looking pretty good right now. Oh, and the storm is over. Close those up. This staff here. Here. I should have a little extra. It's because once I start getting dinosaurs in these other paddocks, we get start getting busy again. Let's take another security. I can't order you to take this new contract, but I wish I could. It's actually that good. Consider that. Get a Velociraptor and make him fight some uh, Dilophosauruses or even eh, Compies might not give him enough combat rating. Um, but no, Velociraptors are just such pain to deal with. Now, if he had said Baryonyx with a combat infamy like that, oh, I'd be all over that. I don't care, you know. That, that would just be fun. Baryonyx doing that. I love this guy so much. Two favorites. Actually, I haven't even taken a look at his genome. We'll go with the Alpine look. Actually, even old. Starting rating is 137. That's just beautiful. Uh, looking at resiliency. Immune response, of course. Attack. Probably the tooth hardness. Yeah, that looks like the best one. We go for another tooth hardness on top of that. Ooh, have immune response. And a third tooth hardness. 212 rating. That is really good. And even the viability isn't bad. His attacks through the roof. Lifespan's not bad. Could be a little bit more resilient to disease, but it's not too bad. His defense suffers a little bit. But I definitely want him to only fight things that were really easy. I wouldn't want to put him even against the Ceratosaurus. I'd be worried that the Ceratosaurus would win. But his rating is just so cool, and I just love the fact that they're like, they're fish eaters. Knock knock. Who's there? Oh yeah, that's a good one. New contract. That's it. Period. Um, I haven't sent any teams out for a little bit. Let's work on finishing off Corythosaurus. And. Let's see what this uh, Nasutoceratops like. I don't think I've ever actually raised them. And no fossils. Okay. Didn't see my Dracos for a second, but they're kind of small. Let's see, I definitely want to increase variety, so possibly Edmentosauruses. Uh, they're low rating, but they live forever. Not really a whole lot I can do with them. Um, but their population is pretty good. They don't need a ton of space. Um, let's get a couple of these guys going. This should help finish this off, getting the total uh, guest count up. And could get me closer to this 3.5 just for having the extra variety. Then only two research items are available right now. Because it's not counting these ones because they're too expensive.
Well, I'm going to go very quickly back to one of my other islands and just start the uh, process of uh, those two researches. Uh, pay for it in my other island that has a little bit more money. But I will be uh, right back in just a second. All right, and I'm back. Uh, so yeah, uh, just went to Ilamorta, uh, bought the two uh, global operations researches. So that's uh, what's working right now. Uh, yeah, both of them will just kind of help in the long run. I also had some fossils come in, so let's uh, work on the Corythosauruses. These guys are ready. When you do well, you make me look better. I won't forget that. Have that gate open let's get some water over here and then eater I just completed that contract. The fossils actually showed up while I was on the other island. You did it. Uh, so I didn't actually get credit on this island. Uh, but that's fine. Now let's do two more Edmontosauruses. No harm in just having some extras. Ooh. I've got a new mission for you. If you're interested, that is. And why wouldn't you be? I need to house all of these guys together, which means I need to create an area big enough for all of them. Um, I'm not going to start this quite yet. Okay, these are maxed out, so let's go four workers each. And my team's back out. Ooh, fish fossils. These guys should stick over here. Even with the gate closed. Wait a minute. Include both sides. That doesn't seem to change at all. Whether the uh, gate is open or not. I can release these guys. Open this back up so they can travel. Scar. 
With this contract, opportunity is knocking. Or around here, more precisely, roaring. I'm pretty sure a Strathiomimus would count as a small herbivore, but we'll see what else can count as that. Okay, you're going straight for it. Perfect. spend the 8 million on this at least not yet I don't really need hatchery insurance anyways I'm not gonna lose a dinosaur that's why I focus too heavily on having the uh, success rate increase now let's go ahead and look at what our next dinosaur is going to be so I have as far as herbivores go I have the Ankylo, Draco, Edmund Yongo, Triceratops, Strathion, Mimus, um, all on my island already. Corythosaurus is uh, pretty close, so he's going to be next. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. No cosmetic genes, that's too bad. I'll just have a low rating. Um, let's get that going. Let's see. He can handle a pretty good population size. He's up there with the Edmontosaurus as being a pretty easy one, so I'm not going to worry too much. Let's just give him some other good upgrades. Viability is a little low. Um, even when I get up to 100% uh, genome, still going to be kind of on the low side, uh, but luckily we have the plus 60% from this place, so... Not too concerned. And once the fossil comes in, I'll get two of those guys going. If I remember, send out an expedition center. Uh, let's do that one and Nasutoceratops. I wonder how this one was named. Uh, but yeah, this should finish off the Corythosaurus. Um, that should be good. I'm really good on power right now. Double check. Let's see, let's get Proceeding to defeat her now. you refilled. Extend the path a little bit more. Beautiful. Just barely hit this power. Don't have to make an extra special power just for it. But Oops. Connect to you. No? There we go. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go through here? There we go. Beautiful. It's funny, it's... This place is a secret mission, and I'm, you know, it's off the grid, so to speak. Even though I have people coming and looking at dinosaurs, uh, but the layout ends up being one of the nicer places, uh, just because I can do this big, uh, circling monorail all the way around. It actually, kind of reminds me of Disneyland, uh, where they have the train going all the way around it. But it's just 
makes sense. You want your monorail to have as much visibility as possible. Um, and it's just a really cool effect to just be like, oh, you know, here's the north uh, monorail station. And then, you know, oh, here's all, here's a, these herbivores. Oh, here's these next herbivores. Go through this next one. Oh, here's a bunch of carnivores or, uh, you know, baryonyxes up in the swampland. Let's see. That's all doing good. Um, heck. Yeah, still waiting on that fossil. Do this one. I'll finish that off so I can sell the other one. Arithosaurus done. Let's keep on working on him. Uh, Wanadon wouldn't be too bad to work on. Dinoceratops. Actually, let's get this uh, Dilophosaurus and Chunkingosaurus completed. Yay! Let's hatch some Corythosauruses. Their lifespan is huge as well. They're just like an upgraded Edmentosaurus. I just heard of a new contract that I think will be beneficial for the science division. I'm not asking out of I'm hesitant to take this There's just for you here as well. The fact that if I do finish this before any more security, the security team is going to be pissed with me. I know it says sabotage risk low, but it's just like one small step away from uh, them hating me. Corythosaurus is going to help. Probably not enough to go from 2.3 all the way to 3. But we'll see. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and terminate that one. Just to be safe. And let's take another security. When I was younger, Perfect. I prayed for opportunities like no the power one that outages just for 10 minutes. Take that That's one hand. I can get behind. We'll see if Corythosaurus counts as a small herbivore. If they don't, I'll probably hatch one uh, Struthiomimus to release uh, just to sell it. I prefer not to sell it, but eh, maybe I'll just bring him up here. There'd be a fifth one in here. Your reputation with the science division is impressive. Let's see. I've Youngest horses, the they're doing Things pretty good. good. The Ceratops, well they have some room for more population. I'll just do that. They were small herbivores. Of young dinosaurs. That will keep our research operating uh, at a hundred percent efficiency. Oh. See the hill, take the hill, huh? Keep it up. Let's see. Let's find a name for these guys. I do full metal alchemist for With this animal, the uh, Corythosaurus. You can really the Edmontosaurus is, so action. let's do... Think of all the combinations um, and patterns 
that life tries out sort out on that perfect structure it's not about success life is about refining failure over and over and over again always a work in progress ourselves included <sighs> Um, Asuna? Yeah. Go ahead and get a couple more of these. Here in a second, I'll move them over. Open the skate up. Let's see if I can get the Corythosauruses to just go on their own. Uh, looking for water. So they're pretty quick to just run through. That gate. You guys like this area? Cool. Grab another contract. Entertainment this time. Hey, I just received a new contract. You are no. definitely going to want to this check game it. listening to me. It wants me to have my two favorite dinosaurs fight each other. That is cold. Yeah, no. You know what? I can get this going. I have 8 million to spare. I wish I had 8 million to spare. Can you imagine? I'm like, yeah, just the general prices for everything is just like outlandish for a common person. It's like, oh, 2 million to build a monorail station. Actually, it's not even, it's 200,000. It was two million to research it. Uh, but it's like, yeah, that's horribly expensive. But you look at somebody like Bezos or Bill Gates, and it's just like they can make all of this, and the time that it would take them just to decide on what all to make, they'd make all that money back. Like, oh, three-hour meeting, design an entire you know, dinosaur theme park, all the money that they need to, to build it. It's crazy the way wealth works. Keep on working on fossils. This opportunity is solid and can really help the entertainment. Yeah, I'll do that in just a so second. Please consider it. Get this last one. And then we'll go with Simba. Uh, let's open up this gate. Another contract while I'm at it. Hey, how'd you like to be even more busy? <laughs> Bell three Serratus sources? That's a big uh -huh. ask. They're socializing right now. I get any runners trying to come in. 
I'll just close this and use the ACU team. You're looking for water. Okay, you're looking for water. One more. Oh, straight in. Didn't even hesitate. I like to see. Let's grab one of these ranger teams. No good pictures here. Everybody's spread out. Get a ten thousand dollar photo. I really need something like this. There we go. Great shot, kid. I was one in a million. Let's put this one in the completed column. Thanks. A contract just landed on my desk. You need to take a look. Sure. I'm going to do one more Edmontosaurus. Sounds like a good idea anyways. Um, with a rating of 32. I don't have a rating that high. Maybe if I had a color that or a cosmetic that they could do. These, so the social stat increases don't actually raise rating. Oh, this raises rating a little bit. Not quite enough. Boy. Cosmetic gene. I think I looked before. You did good work out there with that contract. So this one works, but that's uh, island three or four. This one works, but again, a different island. Science requires not only experimentation, but observation. You, I like what I see. Keep it up. And uh, entertainment division towards the end of Ila Sorna, which is, I think, the fifth island. So Ila Takano is the third. So Ila Pena is the fourth island. And then Isla Sorna is the fifth island. So I have a long ways to go before I can upgrade Edmentosaurus any further. Well, let's go ahead and just drop that contract then, because I'm just not going to be able to do this. I'll keep this brief. There's a new contract. 
Sure. Review it. I'll make a viewing platform for you. Smart expansion is what we should be about. Creating a world that is complementary to the needs of the dinosaurs. How about right there? <clears throat> Looks like a pretty good spot. Not gonna see a whole lot, but eh. A couple dinosaurs. Should I at least have view of the herbivores, the feeder here. I just do a quick happiness check. I wasn't entirely sure about this one, but you proved me wrong. Everybody's looking good. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for me today. Uh, doing pretty good so far on this island. Uh, this just looks like it's going to be a tough island as far as actually completing everything. So don't be surprised if this ends up being uh, three videos long for this section. Yeah, that's going to do it for today. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, joining me. I hope you had fun. And I will see you all in the next adventure. Bye bye. Business is good, but it can always be better. Consider this contract.